Good morning. I am now joined with registered dietitian and cookbook author Bianca Coates. We're talking about colorectal cancer. What are the signs, how to prevent it, our diet, all of those that play a part in it. Good morning to you, Bianca. Thanks for joining us Thank this morning. You. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Okay, so let's talk about colorectal cancer and what exactly is the research saying about it? So right now, according to the American Cancer Society, it is the second most common cause of cancer deaths in the US. So right now it is trickling down for seniors, but it's on the rise for those 55 years and younger and especially millennials for some reason. Wow. Okay, yes. so we know a colonoscopy is very important yes. to help detect that. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the signs that people are, or symptoms that people may have of it? So stomach pain, um, rectal bleeding, uh, diarrhea, and also iron deficiency. So if you're losing blood in your stools, you're going to be iron deficient. So the gold standard is a colonoscopy. There are stool tests and blood tests, but in order for the doctors to find the polyps that cause cancer, you're going to have to get a colonoscopy. Yeah, that's important yes. information there. All right, so fiber plays a part, right? Are yes. you eating more fiber? Fiber is, is the best. Wow. It, it attaches to the toxins, releases the toxins out of your body, and feeds the good gu gut bacteria in your stomach. So the average American gets about 10 grams of fiber a day, but we need really close to 50 grams. So that comes from your green vegetables, turnips, uh, mustard greens, sweet potatoes, beans and lentils, apples and berries. And then of course you wanna make sure that you're drinking a lot of water to get that toxins out of your stomach as well. We can always eat more greens. I know myself included as you take a look at your screen now. So yes. uh, ideas of fiber examples for colon cancer prevention. So Bianca, what else can we do to prevent colon cancer? Vitamin D. That's very important. If you are vitamin D deficient, you are at risk for colorectal cancer. So your number should be between 50 and 80. Okay. And so you can get an annual blood test to test your vitamin D levels. So that's very important. So the colonoscopy, fiber, vitamin D, and then you want to stay away from those processed red meats, which mm. is your daily meats, hot dogs, smoked meats, alcohol, smoking, and then increase your exercise and water intake. Mm. Sometimes that can be hard to do, you know, very. talking with Bianca about healthier things we can do to implement into our lifestyle, but it's important, right? Yes. All right, well, Bianca, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Talking Thank you. about colon cancer prevention. We'll be right back.